Hi, I'm Amanda Colardi Silva and I'm a costume designer and an artist. My connection to Brent is um, both through my part-time job and the studio in which I have been in resident in for the past two and a half years, so roughly around the time just before I started my final year at university, um, I rented this studio here, um, which is located in North Wembley. And Wembley is also the area in which I've been working part time on and off for the last two years, roughly as well, um, both during my final year and especially after graduation, um, as I work part time as a bartender at Wembley Park Stadium, which is just a 30 minute walk from my studio. Like I said, the last couple of years, um, sort of working in this environment, albeit living, because I spend most of my time, most of maybe five, six days a week at my studio, so within this community, within this area. Another connection that I have with Brent, as I was actually reading the application, um, I, it took me back to something which, funnily enough, is something I've been thinking of anyways. This particular topic has been on my mind quite a lot, not gonna lie, it's been popping up in my dreams as well, the fact that um, I grew up going to a Brazilian church in Halsden, you know, basically sort of grew up there. Childhood to preteen to teenage memories are in, you know, this particular square in Halsden Town Centre. And so funny enough, around August, September time, I was on the 18 bus coming back from King's Cross and I saw a, a queue for a food bank, it kind of reminded me of how much necessity is in like not only the Halston area but in like my local community, you know, like my area. I just thought to myself, I need to somehow connect this message within um, my writing and within my work. And that is something since around that time, I've been sort of working towards my memories at that church and my memories of um, my friends and my family and my Brazilian community arguably shaped who I am today um, are like all kind of topics and concepts that have already been sort of going through my mind in the last few months so yeah this opportunity for this residency it just feels very much like perfect with the, the direction I wanted to take um, my work conceptually. I have a background in fashion design um, but steer more towards uh, costume design and character design. Um, so my work at the moment is floating between um, costume for the body, art for the body, um, and as well as object design and installation which usually accompany these characters and uh, these stories uh, that I create. So a lot of the times my work is very tactile with my fashion and textiles background um, and I love, love, love to use unconventional materials, recycled materials. I, a lot of the time my ideas spark from found objects within um, an atmosphere. So I like to use these found objects to create accessories, objects, um, they might be part of the garment, which relate to the character and the story in which I'm telling through those objects and through that character. In future, I actually plan to take these created objects, characters and designs into a more open space in creating more site-specific installation works and um, set design that can accompany these works um, in a broader sense uh, where I can experiment with more materials, um, larger formats and also have space to collaborate with others. I'm actually moving out of my studio um, in two and a half weeks time, yep, so mid-December. Um, so actually right now behind the camera is lots of cardboard boxes and a lot of mess. Um, <laughs> but that is one of the biggest challenges that I'm facing right now is having to leave my studio here because of rent prices increasing in January 
and um, yeah, so at the moment it's a space to work because um, I still live at home with my family and in our family home there isn't much space at all to create the types of works on the scale that I want to make. Um, another barrier that I'm facing would be in um, being able to organise my time um, as since graduating in 2022 I've been working part-time um, since then um, with various different jobs but sort of just trying to keep the balance between working and being um, a full-time artist because as well as working part-time I do consider myself a full-time artist and I work as if I am a full-time artist so that's a barrier in which I find myself in especially when I want to when I'm really excited about a story or a project and I want to give my all you know to this project and I want to get people involved it would be great to have like you know assistance and help um, however I've sort of not let myself go that far as to reach out to others for help and things like that just because um, financially um, it would be good to be a bit more secure in that if I do ask uh, if I do carry um, one or two interns or people to help it would be good to be able to reimburse them for their time um, so that's another barrier that I'm facing at the moment the most in um, being part of a collective of Brent artists is like I said um, this year having that sort of almost epiphany in Halsden and um, just finding myself like being really connected to the Wembley community um, since graduation uh, I think that being a part of this cohort would be um, not only good for me in my practice in my work but also to extend my time in this community in a sense because since I'm leaving the studio um, I yeah I still have a connection to this area but now not having the studio to be able to have this um residency will continue that interest and that um connection to this community and how would i benefit oh to benefit from a collective of artists would be really really great because you know go coming from art school at central st martin's and having a very very tight-knit community there for almost five years you know leaving university um, and coming to sort of explore my own avenue of what I'm going to do on my own as an artist, as a um, self-employed practitioner as well. Uh, but also one of the things that I've realised is the uh, the lack of community and specifically artistic community um, here has meant that um, I haven't sort of had many people to sort of cover my blind spots in areas um, such as my practice and um, yeah even my physical work as well just to get opinions on how things are looking and if they're you know communicating what I want them to communicate um, so yeah being a part of something that has a collection of art you know nine other artists um, in my local area creative thinkers just like me um, would be would really benefit I think my work going forward um, so yeah, that's why I would love to be a part of <laughs> to peer artist residency program with Metroland Cultures and why I think it would be just brilliant and basically everything that I'm looking for at the moment with, you know, needing the studio space, needing the community, um, feeding into these ideas that I've already been having this year. Um, and sort of just building up on them um, to make sort of the best work that I can possibly make.